Hello. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. Managing this all on one screen is a little tricky, not gonna lie. Uh, let's go ahead and bring Yona up here. Hello, Yona. Hello. All right. Put this here, and we'll go full screen. So welcome everyone to Fedora Week of Diversity 2024. We're super glad to have you all here and kick off this really historic event in the Fedora community. Uh, we've had the FWD event for quite some time, but uh, this current evolution of Week of Diversity has been really amazing to see. And I'm super grateful to be here with all of you, as long with uh, Yona, who is also going to co-host today. So welcome to the Fedora Week of Diversity celebration. So we'll do a quick introduction of your hosts before we'll get started with the main agenda for today. Yona? Uh, can everyone hear us, by the way? Or if you can write us on the chat, uh, if you can hear us both, because we are using the same mic. <laughs> oh, and then someone's saying the, but just the ticker tape. Frozen. Okay. Okay, so hi everyone. Uh, I'm Yona. Uh, I'm the current uh, DI advisor. Uh, so basically, being as a bridge uh, between the council, the council team and the Fedora DI team, uh, bringing topics that um, both uh, teams can collaborate together. Um, I've been part of the community for quite some time now. Uh, I started in 2015 and um, still being part of the DI uh, team specifically, which is the one that I contribute most and focus on the mentoring topic as well. And Justin? Yeah. So hi, my name is Justin. Uh, I am an open source contributor and free culture advocate from the US. I've been involved in Fedora since 2015 and I joined Red Hat as the Fedora community architect in October, 2022. You can find me online both through Matrix, uh, my Matrix ID, or you can find me on Mastodon as well. All right, so a quick uh, reminder, important things first. We have a code of conduct in Fedora. Uh, you can find it here. We'll make sure to share a link to that in the chat as well. Uh, code of conduct is really important to us in the Fedora community. Uh, helps provide some guidelines and guidance on what is acceptable, unacceptable behavior in Fedora. All of our community spaces are governed by the code of conduct. So if you need to access that or review it, you can also find it here uh, in our project documentation, but also a important thing to remember about, about as we go into the event. Uh, so as we get started with uh, talking about Week of Diversity, we've got a really uh, interesting story about how we got to this place and what all has gone into actually getting to this point uh, over the many years. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and transition over to Yona to talk a little bit more about uh, the history of the event. If you can go to the next slide, please. Yes. Okay, so first of all, who organizes that? Um, Fedora Week of Diversity, uh, or Fedora also Women's Day, that we'll mention a bit later as well, uh, started uh, from the diversity, equity, and inclusion team, which in the beginning it was Fedora Diversity team, actually. Then we changed it to Fedora Diversity and Inclusion, and now we are the DI team. But basically, this team has always uh, worked on organizing Fedora Week of uh, Diversity. Um, and uh, usually, not only people that are part of the team, basically anyone can join, but usually this is the team that makes sure that we organize the event and we bring some um, nice content and helpful content for the community and highlight different people that are part of the community to uh, say thank you for their uh, contributions. Uh, and as I said, basically the event is aimed at the whole federal community, um, basically highlighting what they do, um, what kind of skills they bring in the community, how they joined, and inspiring others as well. Uh, next, please. So uh, in the beginning, it was Federal Women's Day. 
uh, we were a bit more focused on uh, women or highlighting more women's and non-binary contributors uh, uh, contributions that they were doing in our community uh, and empowering them a bit more. Uh, it used to be also basically local events that they were happening in different cities, countries. Um, and uh, if you check also uh, the link that we have added there, which we will put it also in the chat, uh, it's some sort, some of the Federal Women's Day event that we did, for example, in 2017 uh, um, in different uh, places. And we did that for quite some time, uh, but then we wanted to expand it a bit more. So focus not only on women, because we have um, different groups that are part of the community that are underrepresented. So we wanted to give also to them some space. Plus, um, also with COVID happening, of course, this was not something that we could do just locally. So we had to do something a bit more broad, more general, that we could host it basically online and everyone could join. Uh, the next. Uh, so basically we transitioned to Federal Week of Diversity instead uh, and some of the past events we have done uh, are so in 2021 uh, we did um, some basically we worked on having some Federal stories as part of FLOG uh, we had a session where everyone could join and they could uh, share their Fedora journey or their open source journey how they started who was their mentor, who inspired them to be part of the community, and why they're still part of the community, what still keeps them there. Uh, so it was like different stories that we captured at Flog, and then during Federal Week of Diversity, we were publishing them online, and uh, so other people could also watch and check uh, why people like being part of the Federal community. Then in 2022, um, so in 2022, it was a virtual event that we did. Uh, and um, so basically, because every year, we also try to do different formats to see which, which one works best. Uh, so in 2022, we had like different uh, talks um, or panel discussion as well. We invited uh, different communities also joining us so we could get, get some other perspectives, how they were doing DI in their community um and what we could bring to our community or exchanging these experiences uh and in 2023 last year uh instead of actually organizing federal week of diversity we put an effort on um, organizing federal appreciation week and starting the work for federal week of diversity for this year uh and federal appreciation week um it's kind of similar with the federal week of diversity but there is a difference so we want to highlight or basically uh, to spread that gratitude spirit uh, in the community and say thank you to the contributors. So it was contributors saying thank you to another person in the community uh, for the work that they are doing. Um, even like small things, like they could give also karma cookies, they could write a story, uh, they could post on social to say thank you. So any kind of way that they uh, wanted to do it to uh, basically appreciate other people in the community. Uh, while for this year, um, what was different, basically our team worked on creating content for one week long event. Uh, and I say one week because Federal Week of Diversity uh, itself started on Monday uh, and it will end tomorrow. Uh, so during the whole week, basically we worked um, on first spotting like different community members uh, that we wanted to highlight now their contributions and say thank you. Um, and we did a couple of interviews with them, uh, which probably you should have seen on community blog already, uh, some of these stories. If not, I would definitely uh, suggest you to check it out. Um, and every basically day, also today, will be or they are already published uh, to other interviews and will be one more tomorrow. Uh, and also part of it is this virtual event, which is happening today with different talks, a panel discussion, and also social activity. Next. Uh, so for this year, as I mentioned, the, the, the interviews that uh, they uh, have been already posted on community blog, we will have one more tomorrow. Uh, we are doing the event on Matrix. Uh, so, and we are using Matrix. <laughs> Uh, especially for um, also the Q&A part to network a bit with each other and so on. But um, 
you, and you can watch the live stream there directly, or you can also do that on YouTube, which will also help us to put the registration later and so on. So why it's important um, for us to organize it, why we still keep doing that. Um, so it's very important for us to have basically uh, a chance to highlight these different contributions that people make in our community, um, to appreciate uh, the work that they are bringing, uh, because everyone uh, makes Fedora what it is, basically. And that's why uh, in our four foundation, I think, the friends part, it's like uh, really important and one of the main reasons why people are still part of, uh, of this community. And to also encourage contributors um, across different areas in Fedora so they can also collaborate with each other and work um, towards their, their goals and everything. And um, also to inspire new people that they, they are just starting their uh, false journey um, what they could do as part of the community or how other people are feeling uh, in our community. So basically this time we use it as a way to all come together and bring our diverse voices, perspectives, skills, and so on to, to our community. And I'll just add on to that too, is like one thing that's really special, like you spend some time in the Fedora community and you realize that we are this global community of people spread out all over the world. And, you know, it's great when we can get together in person and celebrate at events and you know, have that in-person time, but at the same time in a global community like Fedora, where we have people across all ends of the planet and all different time zones and places of the world, um, events like this are really important for us to, you know, come together as a community and also celebrate some of those amazing things that make up the Fedora community. All the different backgrounds and cultures and experiences that we come from and ultimately also bring into the project that's a big part of what makes fedora what it is you know the the friends foundation really is a critical part of everything that we do in fedora and you know it's more than just more than just creating a linux distribution but we also really enjoy the people that we we do all of these things we work, um, do all of this work with together and it's important that we make space to celebrate that too when we're not uh all busy trying to re release a new operating system every six months too. So I can talk a little bit more about um, how this connects into the Fedora strategy. Some of you might have heard a little bit about this in the community, but I wanna talk a little bit about the Fedora strategy and how something like this event ties into it and uh, why you'll probably be seeing more things about the Fedora strategy in the coming months and years. So Fedora for the last, uh, for the last little while has been building a strategy for where we want to take the project by 2028 you know thinking about like oh in five years time where do we want to be as a project in a community so there's different focus areas that are a part of that initiative or a part of the strategy and if you followed some of matthew miller's uh community blog posts and some of the conversation on fedora discussion uh, you'll have seen some of these topics come up so just to call out from the Fedora strategy, there's two of these focus areas that are really big parts of what we're trying to do. And um, ultimately, you know, I think it's important that all of uh, the goal of our Fedora strategy is the, what we call guiding star or the main, the main purpose of the strategy is to double the number of uh, contributors active each week by 2028. Uh, so really trying to grow our contributor community and bring more people into the project. So these kind of things tie in a lot to that, you know, reaching the world. We have a specific. All right. I think I am back here. So sometimes the unexpected happens and you lose power in the middle of the stream. I think, let's see, am I, are we back online here? I'm getting some signals from restream. Let's just see, are we all? Uh, I can get a thumbs up in the chat if this is online. I just want to see if anyone else is uh, able to see. Is it just me? Okay, back now. Great. So sometimes the unexpected happens. Sometimes you lose power right in the middle of the opening remarks. 
So I'm going to have to slide through this really quick because we do have our next speakers, but we really did want to emphasize a huge thank you to the folks who have been involved with organizing this. It's really been a community effort. And without all of you helping make this all possible, we wouldn't be able to do it. So a huge thank you to all of our volunteers and folks who have been helping make this an awesome event for this year. Uh, also a huge thank you to all of our speakers. We have a really amazing lineup of speakers who you will get to hear from today. Uh, and we'll make sure that we have time to introduce them. Uh, you can also find the schedule is on pre-talks uh, where you, if you've seen the CFP, you can also find the full schedule of what we'll be talking about and who will be coming up on stage on pre-talks. Uh, we also have some opportunities to volunteer if you like these kind of events, and this is something that's interesting to you. We're getting ready to organize a mentor summit at F Fedora Flock in August in our in-person contributor event as well. So if you're interested in that, there's an opportunity for you to get involved and volunteer with our next uh, major event. I'll do a highlight really quick on some socials. At the end of today, we're going to have some time to do a code names game. If you never played code names, it's a social word game uh, where you have to try to guess certain words in a competitive uh, team uh, comp uh, team play game. Uh, AV will be required. We'll have some opportunity. Uh, we'll share a little bit more later in the event about how you can join and participate with code names. So keep an eye out for that towards the end. Uh, also, we're going to highlight, hey, if you want to grab some Fedora swag, you can work with one of our awesome swag vendors, Hello Tux, a, a small uh, vendor based, I believe, in Hungary, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but they do really nice embroidered swag. You can see some of the items that they have in their store here. And I'll tell you a little secret. If you use the code Fedora5, the number 5, you will get a 5% discount off of some of their items in the store. So thank you folks for another amazing release. We're just coming out of the Fedora 40 release a couple months ago. Thank you all for being a part of our wonderful, amazing Fedora community. Uh, also wanted to highlight too, uh, uh, really awesome thing that's happening in the community is the accessibility test week. Uh, we've been doing a lot of great work with the accessibility working group and just wanted to highlight that uh, we have an opportunity to get involved and contribute right now uh, with some of these accessibility technologies in Fedora. Uh, so if you're interested in learning more about that, there was an article on the Fedora magazine. We'll post a little bit more in the chat as well so you can keep an eye on that. We we'll hope to have a little bit more time to talk about this, but unexpected power outage. Maybe have power back. Maybe not. We'll see. Uh, but now let's start the celebration and let's both be here and involved. It's a pleasure. So, all right, we'll go ahead and pull both of them off the stage. So while we have, we have a little bit of a time here. Uh, so we figured we'd come back to something that we had to kind of rush through in the opening remarks, but we thought was really important and wanted to uh, call out explicitly too. So I'm going to share my screen here come back to the intro remarks that I uh, got interrupted with earlier. So I'm going to pull this back up. Slideshow. Um, I just want to say really clearly, like, uh, thanks to our amazing uh, volunteer team on the content and promotion sites. So we have around our virtual events. Also, if this is something that's interesting to you. There's generally like four main kind of ways of contributing to our virtual event space. And we had a great team of volunteers that helped make it all possible this year. On the content and promotion side, I want to give some shout outs to Chris, Rosalind, Joseph, and Constellation, who helped with doing all the marketing, social media promotion, writing articles, helping out with all things content, promotion, and outreach. Uh, couldn't have gotten the word out and helped spread the word and do our CFP without all of you folks. On the event production side, uh, Yona, Adrian, and Tosin have been super helpful in helping stitch all the different pieces together for this event. and. Uh, helping build the platform experience. We're still pretty new in this era of matrix virtual events. Uh, so we're getting better and better at that each time. And we have a great group of folks that are helping us make that possible. So thanks to our event production folks on the design end, and as well as the Fedora badge, all the artwork and logos and things you've seen throughout the event. Uh, Emma, Chris, Nikita, and Consolation have all been huge helps for so a big kudos to our designer folks and helps, uh, and also getting that wonderful little badge out and ready. And then Amita, thanks so much for helping with all the speaker management end of things and working with all of our, helping them stay informed, connecting them with what the plan is for the end and helping build out the schedule for this year. So I just wanted to circle back to that because when we lost power, I uh, had to kind of rush through 
few things there uh, earlier on. Just wanted to circle back to that and uh, give some real good kudos to our folks who have helped make this possible. Uh, and also, again, another thanks to all of our speakers. Uh, I've said that previously, uh, but uh, really could not do it without having our great set of speakers who have also helped uh, come up with content and are talking with us here during the week of diversity virtual event, as well as our great panel discussion that we'll have later in the day and a mentored projects update from Fernando, which will be our next scheduled session. And I think the last thing we'll, uh, we want to share here is we want to uh, play a little video, actually. Uh, so as part of the week of diversity, there's been a couple of things going on. I'm going to share a little bit of background here before I play the video. I'm going to go and pull off my screen share here. Uh, so as part of week of diversity this year, some of you may remember uh, we've had this video on our YouTube from Budapest Flock in 2019. So Flock being our contributor conference or one of our largest in-person gatherings of our contributor community. Uh, there was a really amazing video that was made that year that helped capture all these moments and uh, the vibe of our community at our in-person space. And so we've wanted to do, do something kind of like that video again, because it would capture uh, the mood, like what it means, like who is Fedora? Who are the people behind our community? And, you know, as I mentioned earlier in the opening remarks, or maybe I didn't if my connection got cut off, you know, we have this really amazing global people from all over the world, and people from different cultures, different backgrounds, different walks of life. And as part of that, we've been compiling some videos from our contributor community to help capture and highlight that. So what I'd like to do, what we had originally planned to do during the opening remarks uh, was to actually play this video and debut it here at, for the very first time at Week of Diversity. So I'm going to go ahead and work on putting the video onto the stream. Let's see. OK, and we'll do local video. Or I'll just share my screen with audio. <laughs> okay, here we go. I think my screen is now visible there. Let's go ahead and play the video. All right, so I'm going to do a quick test. Uh, someone's going to have to confirm with me if the audio is carrying over or if I'm going to have to try something else for this. Can I get a quick confirmation in the, uh, well, hold on. Wait for it to start here. Maybe there's another way. Is that audio coming over? Can people hear? Yes. Is that a yes? All right. Then I'll go and put it on full screen and we'll play the full video. Every culture, every language, every walk of life, we are bringing us together as one community. From every culture, every language, every walk of life, we are bringing us together as one community. From every culture, every language, and every walk of life, we are bringing us together as one community. From every culture, every language, every walk of life. Door brings us together as one. From every culture, every language, and every walk of life, the door brings us together as one. One. For every culture, every language, every walk of life, the door brings us together as one community. From every culture, from every language, from every walk of life, the door brings us together as one community. 
from every culture, from every language, from every walk of life, the door brings us together as one community. So, en France, on aime les pains au chocolat, c'est pas les chocolatines. Mm. Près de la France, girl, as protein. Et une fois, en France, en Catalogne, c'est très important. Domo, snabera, pivo, hezký hoty. Pro mě je domů je, co by si to nejspíš neřekla, do opravdu Německo, kde jsem našel pěknou chvíli. I am very rusty. I mean, from Nigeria. Which in Nigeria, you mean a lot of rice. Ich bin Dennis aus Deutschland. In Germany we enjoy Christmas markets and many Germans are passionate about their cars. Oh my god, it's going to start like that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's the first one for her? All right. So I will go ahead and put that link in the chat if you want to catch that video on the Fedora YouTube. Uh, again, I want to say a huge thanks. So Chris, who you saw in that video, was a huge part in putting all of this stuff together, working with all these different videos that people have been work, uh, submitting and uploading, uh, taking a bunch of videos from DevCom CZ that we filmed last week. Uh, it wouldn't have been possible without Chris. So I want to make sure we have a huge kudos and thanks for Chris. Uh, drop some applause emoji in the chat. Uh, and I also want to mention, too, as far as uh, ways that you can help contribute to our video, uh, there are many different languages that you may have heard in that video. And we want to collect closed captions. We want to make some closed captions for some of the content to make it as accessible for people as possible. So if you heard a language that was not English and that you uh, recognize and know and you'd like to contribute to that, come say hi in the DEI uh, Matrix Room chat. We can help connect you on how to do that. Or you can also just comment on the YouTube video and we can integrate things from there as well. So again, thanks, Chris, for that awesome video. And I'm super excited for us to launch that uh, here at Week of Diversity for the first time.